Good morning once again. Welcome back to our vocabulary lecture two. Uh, in the last class, we discussed the importance of vocabulary. I'll just take a quick revision of what all we did. We talked about the pure and the contextual based vocabulary. Uh, we talked about, we learned the word called modica, cinch, strenuous. Now you're going to tell me vocabulary seems to be cinch or strenuous. We learned various words through mnemonics, root words, suffix and prefix. We're going to discuss the root words, suffix and prefix in the next class. We did a couple of words related with mnemonics. You remember Dr. Manmohan Singh, Taciturn. Remember when we met Karina Kapoor, Garulus. We learned a root word that was misogamous. Miso, that was, I'm re repeating, it was hate. Gammy was marriage and ST is a person we talk about. So we discussed this couple of words. Now, if you talk about the blemish, we discussed this word blemish. Uh, so we discussed about dob. I'll revise the word blemish, blur, sludge, splotch, blotch, dob. Chan me daga, chan me blemish. Reverence is a respect. We talk about, uh, you know, we whenever we give profound respect to someone is a reverence. We discover hoi ploy, aam aadmi, never underestimate the power of a hoi ploy. We did a scoot, bhag milka baat, hurtle milka halka, dart milka dart. We did non-challenge, we did on student also. That means we did a, ple a person who is a pleat counsel, casual approach. We did hooligan, where we revised the words called ruffian, you know, noisy, people who are, who are very rude and rowdy. Uh, we did catharsis that we talked about purging out of emotional tension. Let's continue from now from, you know, puissant. Now, puissant basically means powerful. People who are very powerful. People who are very powerful. That means we are talking about powerful people. Now, see, Bahubali, so the name of the movie is Puissant. The Puissant basically movie means the Puissant, the beginning. So when we see the top personalities of the world, the most powerful people on the planet, Zipeng, Waldemir Putin, Donald Trump, Narendra Modi. So these four Man, these four personalities are the most powerful people on the planet. So if we call powerful, we can relate another word also. We call them mighty. Like we call God as almighty. That is God is all powerful. The word is mighty. So we all want to become, you know, pure son that is powerful personalities. And yes, you believe whenever you see any top personalities of the world, be Donald Trump, Modi ji, anyone, we, we can call them pure son. That is, so you have seen pure son the beginning and pure son the conclusion. Conclusion that is Bahubali 1, Bahubali 2. Okay, another word. Looking at today's scenario that is the COVID problem going on throughout the globe, the word is gingerly. Gingerly means to be extremely careful, to be extreme care. That means I'm talking about extremely careful when you have to take about. Extremely careful ka, Extremely careful here, here means when we talk about extremely careful. See, uh, see this man, why? chopping the ginger and vegetables he chopped his fingers so he was not careful so learn the mnemonic whenever you're chopping ginger whenever you're chopping ginger be careful if you are not careful you'll not be able to chop the ginger so careful that means uh, the word is to be cautious in life the word is to be cautious if we are cautious the word is to be cautious. So be cautious when you're chopping the ginger. So hope you all want to become a puissant, mighty. But remember, whatever you're doing, you know, do it gingerly. That's the reason I said looking at this pandemic situation throughout the globe. You know, we all should behave in a gingerly manner. I, very careful. We should sanitize our hands. We should wash our hands. So it's not only ginger. Ginger, I'm just relating with gingerly with ginger. That means to chop ginger with careful. So extreme careful to be cautious is basically to be gingerly. Now, I really love this word when I talk about it's lassitude. So lassitude, basically, when we talk about a people who are inactive, understand? People who are inactive, people who are lazy. So people, look at this man, he's lazy, he's sleeping. So, you know, we, you can relate this word through learn vocab with fun. You know, uh, lassitude in Hindi, you know, lassi? Lassi pige tour jara. You have seen people in Punjab, they drink two, three glasses of lassi, full pack lassi, and they go into the bed and they hit the bed, they hit the sack and they sleep. Lassi pige tour jana. Lassi pige tour te, uske baad ap inactive ho jate. Because jita jada lassi piyogi, you will feel sleepy. That means the more and more you're gonna take the, you're gonna take lassi, you're gonna feel, you know, sleepy, inactive. So lassi tu is basically to be inactive, lazy. Let's have some words for lazy. Let's have some words for uh, inactive. We'll have some words for inactive. The word for, uh, just a sec, 
the word for inactive would be uh, you know people who are lazy are also known as sluts slot you know the laziest animal on the planet is also known as slot these people are known as torpor torpor the word is the word is torpid so torpid you can relate the word torpidity so you know whenever you see lazy inactive you got the word like glassy tube you got the word sloth you got torpor you got torpid you got the word people who are people who are sluggish that is inactive people who are lethargic I don't want any lethargic student in my class. I don't want you to be sloth. I don't want you to believe in the theory of lassitude. I don't want you to be torpor and torpid. So now you see, you got seven words now. You know, this is a second lecture. Now we'll keep on increasing the words. We're going to learn more and more group of words so that at least, and in this today's session, I'll make sure I'll make you learn somewhere about uh, another 40 to 50 words today. That's my promise to you. So lassitude, when we see, is sloth. So don't be sloth. You remember, sloth is the least animal on the planet. Torpor, lazy, torpid, torpid, you can from torpid, you have torpidity also, that is laziness, sluggish, lethargic, okay, let me give you a couple of more words, so I don't want to have any slots in class, I don't want you to be sluggish and lethargic anymore, uh, you know, I'll give you a very good word, the word is, I love this word actually, the, the word is langur, now you can remember, langur in Hindi, langur, langur are not that active as compared to monkeys. So monkeys are more active than langur. If someone is calling a langur, that means they're not calling a langur. They are calling you that you are inactive. You are not apt. You are not that active. So langur. From langur, the word is languid. I'll give you a good word. That is listlessness. So it's a good word. You uh, you might see, you might come across this word in various competitive exams, and especially placement, AMCAT, and other stuff. So listlessness, languid, languid. So this is the L theory when we talk about. So there are five L's which I talk about. Five L's. That is lassitude, languor, languid, listlessness, and a beautiful word that is lacka de. Lackadaisical. So you got the word five L's. Now the five L's related with uh, lazy. See, you will forget one word, but I suppose if you'll forget lassitude, you'll not forget langur. You'll remember langur and monkey. Langur, that means they're more active than monkeys. Languid, langur, languid. Languorousness can be the word. Listlessness, lackadaisical. Lackadaisical means they have, they have lack. That means uh, they have some, you know, uh, they have some uh, lack of something. They, these people, let's learn vocab with fun. They cannot, uh, you know, they they actually, uh, they can't move from one place to another. They are people who are inactive, lackadaisical. These people don't disc bhi nahi laate hai. Lack, you know, they, they lack in energy, they lack, they are inactive. So we got the words for lassitude. That is sloth, languid, langur, torpor, torpid, listlessness, lackadaisical, sluggish. So you can remember the five well theory so hope you i don't want to see any slots and you know language and language in my class i all you i want you all to be active very very active and indeed uh indeed what i'm looking forward for is i really wish that you all should become a person person personalities on this planet and what I personally believe, whatever you're doing, please do it in a very gingerly manner. So today I'm increasing the level. So see from one word I've given you roughly 10 plus words. Lassitude, languor, languid, listlessness, lackadaisical. That is sluggish, lethargic, sloth, inactive when we talk about. We'll make a move ahead. Hope this is clear. Okay, so the word is hitter two. It's not hitter two, it's hitter two. Hitter two means up till now, up till now. So until now, when we say here, uh, you, we talk about here to four, so far, thus. So, you know, until now, that means up to chapan, we have, we have learned rough way somewhere about 40 plus words. So be it blamish, be it daub, be it hoi ploy. Be it, you know, gingerly, be it, you know, sloth, be it languid, be it a torpor, 
or be it related with Carolus, be it lackadaisical, be it taciturn, be it misogamous. So, Hitor 2 basically means Aptak Chappan. This is a very good movie of Nana Patekar Aptak Chappan. That means till now. Aptak is basically Hitor 2. So, Hitor 2, we have learned these words. Now, it is up to you how you're going to revise this word. So, when you see Aptak Chappan, it's Hitor 2. That means till this date, we have done this. Till this, we have done this. Okay. Wow. Conflagration. We all know MDH Masala is very famous. Degi Mirch Ka Tadka Angang Bhadka. So that's a line. Very famous dialogue. Degi Mirch Ka Tadka Angang Bhadka. So conflagration means intense fire. So whenever we talk about intense fire, that is intense fire is conflagration. Uncontrolled fire. So th th there is a word known as Inferno. This movie also inferno so, but you have to understand this when we talk about inferno uh, inferno is also known as hell when we talk about hell hell but inferno is also again an intense there are two meanings of inferno one is hell when we talk about you will go to inferno that is a hell another is intense fire by default if there would be an intense fire it would be kind of a hell for you so degi mirch ka tadka ang ang conflagrate hua conflagration conflagration means aag lag jana that means an intense fire uncontrolled fire Okay, so this was a conflagration when we see the Amazon forest. That was the problem which we saw in the past six months. So, okay, the word is panacea. Now, the word is panacea. Panacea, you can see this medicine and we have various remedies. So, you know, panacea basically means cure all. Cure all. When we talk about cure all, Ramban, you can see Lord Rama. Lord Rama with his arrow and bow, Ram Ban. Ram Ban means panacea. Now you understand my line, what I'm trying to say. See guys, good grammar, that means good grammar and good vocabulary, good vyakaran, that is good grammar and good vocabulary will act like a panacea for your poor English. Students, those who are not really good at grammar and vocabulary, trust me, if you'll develop good grammar, you'll learn the basic concepts of grammar, you'll learn good vocabulary. Trust me, good grammar and good vocabulary will act like a panacea, that is a cure-all. It's a ramban for your poor English. So I believe good grammar and good vocabulary will act like a panacea for your poor English. Okay, now don't confuse this word with panacea, it's panache. Now, when we talk about panache, you can see this gentleman and lady, they beautifully, elegantly dress up. So, panache is basically the style when we talk about. The style, uh, we call it as len also. That means we talk it anyone who is elegant, elegant, elegance when we talk about. Elegance, elan, style. This very good word, I love this word. The word is wogish. So basically it's in style. Anything that is in style, that is in wogish. That is stylish, is basically known as panache. So there was actually you know, uh, various beauty pageants, they keep their names as Panache. Panache is the most panache, the stylish person on the planet uh, in India, in your state. So Panache is, I know you all have some of the other Panache, but I believe that, you know, you believe that good grammar and good vocabulary will act like a panacea for your poor English. And in this COVID time, you all will behave in a very gingerly manner. And I don't want to see any slots and languid and languors in my class. Is it clear? Good, great going. Land vocab with fun. That's the funda. Okay, the word is geopody. Geopody. Geo. So when we talk about geopod, you have to understand people. Some people call it geopody. Some call it uh, geoparty. So understand the word is japode. Japode. So when we talk about, you can pronounce this word like uh, je. Just a sec. You can break this word. Je. We can have je. D. You can pronounce like this, like Japody. So Japody basically means danger. That means learn vocabulary fun. If you will do more and more party, from party you can learn party. If you will do more and more party, you will put your life into danger. Parties are good to an extent, but not always. You know, what we Indians generally do is, we, you know, we for six, uh, six days we party and we work for one uh, just uh, one day what americans they do is they work five or six days 
uh, they put their hundred percent and they for two days they work hard they party harder so but the case is opposite in India altogether we party harder we don't work hard generally we are hard working but you know we so that's the reason I'm saying don't do too much party if you do too much party you will jeopardy that means you're putting your life into danger so danger means it is a risk when I'm talking about learn a word that is basically peril so peril is basically danger it's risk that means you're giving a hazard to your life it's a hazard now I am increasing the speed also because it's your second session so don't jeopardize with your life don't put your life into peril hazard you know you might have you know endangered animals so from danger we have another word known as in endangerment so if you have endangered man, that means we're talking about wild danger and think that is dangerous. So now you got the words. So, you know, the mnemonic here is party. The more and more party you will do, you'll put your life into a risk, into a peril, into a hazard. That is an endangered man. Jeopardy. Okay. Don't put your life into a peril and risk. Hope you will not behave in a gingerly manner. Now you can relate gingerly with this. Okay, wow, Stutter, we all have seen a movie, Dor, Shah Rukh Khan, and this is the biggest phobia, you know, I've been taking sessions uh, you know, on stage phobia to develop soft skills in students, train them for group discussion, personal interviews, one of the biggest things which I've seen in stage phobia, once once you remove the stage phobia, one of the biggest problems which come across is people stammer a lot, they stutter a lot, like in movie door Shah Rukh Khan ki 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 current Shah Rukh Khan is not only the actor who stammers if you read about if you if you're well read and if you've read about your Hrithik Roshan Hrithik Roshan used to stammer a lot he went abroad he developed now you see you cannot even imagine that Hrithik Roshan one of the famous actors of the Bollywood he used to stammer but now he is perfectly because he practiced that's the reason we say practice makes a man perfect work on your MTI MTI stands for mother tongue influence. So don't be a stutter. Stutter means don't stammer. Stammer. Stammer means, you know, when you stammer while speaking, you know, uh, mm, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I mean to say that that's you you're stammering. You're stammering. That means you're, you, you are actually a falter. Falter is also when you walk and you, you know, you're not uh, you're not able to work properly. Falter. The word is bumble. So don't bumble while speaking. Fumble is for walking also, you know, see we are doing the synonyms like, uh, you know, synonym means a particular word will have a particular, uh, you know, they are synonyms, but they, they have their own uses. So fumble is while walking also. So you go from stutter, you got stammer, falter, bumble, fumble, don't bumble and fumble while speaking. You know, people fumble while walking also and fumble also means once you, you're speaking something, you, someone asks you to give a lecture on European crisis. Or maybe on the you know disruption through artificial intelligence and machine learning and if you're not able to speak about it, you'll learn a bumble fumble you're gonna stammer and stutter so whenever you see Shah Rukh Khan door Kiran, you will understand that Shah Rukh Khan used to stutter he used to stumble he used to fumble a lot I don't want you to stammer and uh, st uh, sorry stutter I don't want you to stammer a lot and please guys don't uh, put your life into peril risk danger they were you know and please behave in a very gingerly manner Hope now you can understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I actually this is a very very good word. You can see the candlelight dinner here, and it's written top secret. Can you imagine what would be the meaning of this word? What does this word stands for? The word is clandestine. It's not clandestine. It's clandestine. The clandestine basically stands for anything that is done secretly. Anything that is done secretly. That is a secret. So, you know, generally why I've put a candlelight dinner? Because clandestine. Because somewhere it's something looking like candle. So, people when they go for a candlelight dinner, that's a secret dinner. Everyone will not love to go to a public place to have a candlelight dinner. They will always go to a... So, you know, they had a clandestine dinner. Uh, that was a candlelight dinner and that was a clandestine. Clandestine is basically, yesterday there was a clandestine meeting between Angela Merkel and Janet Yellen. So clandestine basically, clandestine basically means secret. That is undercover. That is not, that is undercover when we talk about undercover. So it's hidden that means. Anything that is hidden is. So it, I'll give you a very, very good word also for this, which is actually, I love this word. Surreptious, surreptious with S U R R E. Surreptious, surreptious basically stands for anything you know that is actually done 
in a very secretive manner in a you know that means that in a very clandestine manner when we talk about so basically whenever you're learning all these kind of words you have to understand so you know if you're reading a newspaper yesterday there was a clandestine meeting so you will going to understand what we are trying to talk about so guys i believe you will uh, you guys i'm running short of time because uh, uh, now you understand time is like circus always moving and packing away uh so hope you'll all behave in a very gingerly manner yes or no so you'll behave in a gingerly manner hope i don't want to see any torpor and torpid in my class is it limpid is it limpid so we'll make a move ahead so that would be client sign so as of now i'm signing off because uh you know there would be a problem while uploading the video so we'll take a quick or uh, extremely sorry we'll take a quick revision we'll take a quick revision we did a uh, word stutter stammer we'll take a quick revision of what all we did so we learn a word today was percent that is powerful that is all that is almighty we did gingerly extremely careful cautious lassitude languor languid listlessness lazy you know we talked about uh, sluggish lethargic hitherto basically means up till now up to chapan conflagration intense fire inferno is also known as hell we discussed spanish ya rambar cure all we discussed spanish style elegance swagish jeopardy you know when you talk about jeopardy jeopardy is risk peril hazard endangerment stutter stammer fumble so don't stutter while speaking so guys as of now i am signing off hope you have you're going to memorize this words in case you forget any word you have my number you can feel free to contact me we'll give you various more tips how to improve your vocabulary uh next session we'll discuss some more mnemonics then i'll start with the root word suffix and uh prefix uh, but remember guys uh, for people who are new for the vocabulary you know it would be hard for you but trust me i always believe in the line of uh, Jack Ma, one of the richest man on uh, uh, richest man of China. So he, he rightly said, "Today is hard." That means today is hard. Yes, according to looking into the coronavirus situation, today is hard. Tomorrow would be worse. Tomorrow would not be good. Today is hard. Tomorrow would be worse. But the day after tomorrow would be a sunshine. So you'll have face hard things today and tomorrow also. But you know, if, if you will, if you'll stand uh, tall, you will face all this problem today and tomorrow. The day after tomorrow would be a sunshine. So guys, as of now, all the best, and I'm sure you'll gonna revise this words in case any problem. We'll see you. Thank you. If you want, you know, more of my videos, my sessions, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Facebook ID, my Instagram, my LinkedIn. I will try to help you every possible way I can. I will be fortunate enough to help you.